I have a bad habit. Before you get here today, so. on there that shows calving data and i'm going to be asking for a calving survey later on after you after you purchase these heifers but when you look at that data that's what's the results of those surveys you send me back so what we see in there is what this program is actually doing you guys are telling us how this program is working uh, saying that i am going to send you a calving survey after you purchase these heifers and i would like to get that information back so that we can keep improving this program so that you guys keep coming back and buying these heifers what they are we doing about today about two weeks earlier so make sure you keep an eye on them uh, uh, we do have dv auction yeah. online here yeah, too so we're, we're going to have some online bids as well and then i've got one other question yeah. for you guys how many of you actually uh the show me select heifer sale where you guys have the opportunity to take heifers home that have jumped through absolutely every hoop that there is to jump through uh these producers at the neighbors. They know our pickup and my voice. I don't know why, but this makes me so happy. I was not happy about being sent over here to check on him, but now that I'm here, I'm happy. Oh, don't they all look good? That fence line. Can you see them all the way down? Oh, too dark. Good morning. It's Monday in Missouri. <clears throat> and apparently, <clears throat> I still don't have a voice. I got home from farmer to farmer Thursday, and the whole house has been plagued with sickness. So, no videoing has really happened in the last several days. So, playing catch up. I'm going to go down and shore, check out things. Thankfully, uh, Jason's parents have been handling most of the stuff. I'm just going to go over and check on the cows. We did get um, 13 new heifers from the Show Me Select sale. So I'll take you over there and kind of see them and talk to you about the cows and just uh, different stuff. So I hope you guys are ready for whatever's entailed today. We're going to head to the shop. Well, we made it to the shop. It takes a whole 30 seconds, depending on how fast you drive. A lot of times I walk it. Um, most of the summertime, I do walk in between the shop and the house. It's not that far for me. Today, I'm just being lazy, and I just want to get down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to chore, take care of my ponies here, check on these calves. We're going to go over to the farm. Um, I'm going to start doing some stuff a little bit, I wouldn't say backwards, but there's so many of you guys that have just come in this year that I thought, well, what better way to start January off in 2023 than like kind of going back to um, where we started, how we got here, what we're doing, and just reiterating that. Um, it's kind of come to my attention that I've been slacking on explaining some stuff. So like talking about the shop edition, some of you guys didn't see it where it was being poured. Um, 
the concrete just got poured for it last two weeks ago and uh it's kind of been a long process of putting it up and just different things it is at the homestead aka jason's parents the shop is a 90 foot addition to the existing shop and they're just going to use it for more space i mean what farmer doesn't need more space um store stuff um his parents have gotten into like kind of a supply store where they have different things like post um continuous paneling and all like stuff for rotational grazing like the poly wire and the reels and just kind of different stuff um that we utilize here and i'm going to do a better job hopefully going forward and showing you guys and talking about that different stuff in addition we have lots of chickens uh, mostly Jalen and Carol go to market on Saturdays during the summer. Um, Keaton's kind of getting to that age where he wants to help us more. And of course, we want that help because we're not getting any younger. And we definitely want Keaton to uh, and Jalen to take over the farm eventually, someday, from us. So, yeah. Yeah. We do have horses. Um, I don't ride nearly as much as I want to or would love to. Just timing doesn't always work out that way but uh, this fall we uh, really made that decision to start keeping maybe at least my mare Shiloh over at the farm <clears throat> when we started building that cattle barn over there so that I can be able to utilize her over there because otherwise I have to haul her or she has to make the truck or track over there and it's like three and a half miles or so to that farm and while that doesn't seem like a lot it can take up some time that I don't always have. During the summer months, I do I do ride quite a bit in the mornings before things get crazy, but it's hard to do that during the winter time um, because there's no daylight until like after seven. So yeah, that's where we're, where it's at. Walk down and turn the water on for the calves in the arena. We have wean calves. This year was our first year. We didn't do any fall calving. So the calves that we have are wean calves from spring. I think we, we tallied up last night. We've got 70 cows and heifers that are going to uh, calve starting really like in a couple weeks. Like anytime Christmas, like it can be like on. Um, I need my gloves. It's a little bit chilly out. Well, shoot. Um, I must have forgotten them at home. Guess I don't need them anyway. Hold on, Shiloh, just a minute, okay? I'm gonna pull Rocky out and put her in. Um, she has a baby um, that fold out. He's a year old now. And I really, she's weaned him, but with the other mares, they kind of fight. And I just, I don't want any accidents happening or anything like that. More chickens. When the girls come see in the rainstorm. Kind of just follow me around. Hi, sweet pea. Kisses. Give everybody kisses. Hello. You jealous? Hi. are still coming in from the back. Are you giving everybody some loves? Sweet Pea loves you guys. A lot of new faces out here. We 
He added 13 the other day. We're gonna move the girls to a new paddock this morning or evening. I guess it is nighttime. The afternoon. Come on, girls! Woo! Lucy and Sweet Pea are leading the gang. We are still rotationally grazing our cows. This is our stockpile. Got several new faces out there. Come on, girls. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. Come here. You stay here. The wind over here makes it really hard and I've got a sore throat. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking about the cows in general today. Um, maybe I'll go home and kind of talk about them a little bit more or something. The cows are my Does it get any more prettier? Except for maybe if the grass is green. The sunset is gorgeous.
Good morning. It has been a very long last, I don't even know how many days it is, week, week and a half. Um, my crew has been sick, sick. Um, Keaton had strep last weekend and then I went to farmers, um, farmer to farmer and I came home and Jason and Jalen started getting sick and they had walking pneumonia. So Jay's been home all week and really Jason up until like maybe yesterday hasn't um, been out and about like very, very little. Um, it pretty much knocked both of them fully down. Um, today we are going to go check cows. We are literally two weeks from calving, more or less. Um, these heifers, we have 40 some heifers to calve out because we keep, <laughs> keep buying. <laughs> I have a bad habit. Um, and I, I keep buying. Um, we bought those ones last weekend. <sighs> so we added 13 more heifers into the group from the Show Me Select sale. I'll have to talk about that more later on. Um, but we got happy mail. You guys, I don't know if I've told you guys how much I truly appreciate everything you guys do. From commenting to sharing, you know, the videos to just leaving a thumbs up and making sure you guys are subscribed. These, these things like this. You guys, I love snail mail. I love it. I love when you guys email me. I love the cards. <clears throat> this one is <clears throat> actually very dear to my heart. Um, to Kaylin family, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year filled with peace, love, and happiness. All the best for 2023. Blessings to all. Evan. Evan, thank you. You, you know how much your cards mean to me um you mean to me actually i just you guys all mean so much and um vlogmas has kind of been hit or miss because there's just been so much going on and then all of a sudden it abruptly stopped because i've been dealing with the sickies at home but um I'm gonna jump out and check the cows. We are starting to give a little bit of hay. We've got some very cold weather coming in. Um, actually, it's turned cold now. It's 20 degrees today, but the wind makes it feel about 12. Next week, they're calling for negative temperatures overnight, and I, I'm a little bit paranoid. Um, this kind of weather can bring on these heifers. And Cav and our barn's not ready. It's just not ready, unfortunately. Um, we may try to work on it this afternoon. I'm fingers crossing that I don't get sick. Be a Christmas miracle. Um, yeah. It is starting to snow flurry too. I, my, I would really love some snow for Christmas. Like a couple feet of snow. Call me crazy. But that's what I think. So I guess we're gonna go work on attempting to hang 10. In the way. 